Hello people, Mist here. Recently I was messing around in After Effects and I created this portal effect. And today I'm going to show you how I did it without any plugins at all. So without any further stalling, let's get into it. So let's start at the beginning. I first off made a solid layer and then I scaled it down to around 60%. After which I added fractal noise to it with these settings. Oh by the way, feel free to pause the video at any point if you want to copy the settings I'll be showing. And then of course I added some expressions to both the evolution of the noise and the rotation of the solid by alt clicking the stopwatch for those. Then I wanted to make the portal a circle so I added the polar coordinates effect but after I did that I thought it was too round so I added some turbulent displays and once again I put an expression on the evolution. After that I added a color key so at some points you'll be able to see through the portal and then I added some blur to hide the line that the polar coordinates effect creates. And to top it off, I added a twirl effect so you get that portal look. I also added a fake control layer for when the portal opens, but that's not that important. You don't have to make one if you don't want to, but yeah, here are the settings for it anyways. After that was done, I pre-composed it and moved on to making it look nicer. I started off with making two copies of the original uh, composition, one smaller than the other, and then I put them on top of each other, and then I offset the starting points of them to make it look better. Then I added a tint effect on top of it all, with a adjustment layer, and decided to go for a yellowish color. Then I added two different glows, one for the brightness and the other just to expand its reach. After that I added a blur so the two copies would blend in with the portal a bit better. Then I pre-composed that and went on with making the thumbnail for it. Okay, first let's remove the lens flares and the text as those aren't a part of this. And let's talk about this reflection. First I duplicated the portal and then I flipped it vertically and moved it into position. Then I found some texture online and used that as the floor. I made that a 3D layer and then moved it into place. After that, I went back to the flip portal and added a compound blur to it and made the first box here the texture layer that I previously turned off. And once that was done, I bumped up the blur to 88 and it was done. A minor detail here would be the slight yellow color on the ground, which I made by adding a gradient to a solid layer and putting the points in so that it looked like a ground. But then I thought the background looked a bit flat, so I added a solid layer with a 4 point gradient with these colors. And once I moved them around a bit and was happy with the result, I turned down the opacity to like 33%. And yeah, that, that's basically it. If you have any questions that I might have missed answering in this video while explaining, feel free to leave them in the comments as I will answer every single one of them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and maybe you learned something new. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe as it helps grow my channel. And yeah, see you next time.